Hello everyone, you are welcome. How to solve this beautiful exponential math problem? Which is power to power b times power to power b times power to power b divided by power to power b plus power to power b plus power to power b is equal to b. So here we will try to reach out the value of b. Now how can we solve this math problem? Now look it to the left hand side here in the numerator, the base is same. So here in the numerator we will use the same base exponential identity. So here we will use this one identity in the numerator r s to power m times r s to power n which can also be written as r s to power m plus n. So using this exponential identity here this numerator will become this will become implies here we will write the base one time 5 and we will add the power so this will become b plus b plus b divided by and in the denominator here this power s to power b is common so we'll take out common from the denominator so this will become taking power s to power b common so here in all the places one will be left so this will become 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 so further this left hand side will become implies this will become power s to power adding b 3 times this will become 3 b divided by and this will become power s to power b times this will become 3 is equal to 5 and we will try to eliminate this number from the denominator now to eliminate this number from the denominator we will multiply both sides by this number 3 so let's multiply both sides by 3 so this 3 and this 3 will be cancelled so this will become applies this will become 5 to power 3b and here we will move this number to the numerator so here the sign of this power will be changed it will become negative so this will become 5 to power negative b is equal to 5 times 3 is 15. Now here in the left hand side we will use this same base exponential identity and we will add the powers. So this will become implies this will become 5 raised to power 3b minus b is equal to 15. So further this will become 5 raised to power 3b minus b is simply 2b is equal to 15. Now how can we solve this equation? Here there are two approaches to reach out the value of b and find out the value of b. One approach is to take common log on both sides and find out the value of b. And the second approach is to move this number to the left hand side and use an algebraic identity. So here we will use the second approach and we will move this number to the left hand side. So next we can write this equation as power s to power 2b but this can be written as power s to power b whole square minus and here we will move this to the left hand side so it will become negative 15 is equal to 0. Now this is because if we multiply the powers this will become 5 to power 2b. So next we can write this left hand side as 5 raised to power b all square minus we can write this 15 in square form as square root of 15 whole square is equal to 0. This is because here square and square can cancel each other and this gives him 15 back. Now look, look it to the left hand side here. This is an algebraic identity a square minus b square. So here on the left hand side we will use an algebraic identity. So here we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So using this algebraic identity here, this left hand side will become here our a is 5 raised to power b and our b is square root of 15. So this equation will become implies power raised to power b plus square root of 15 times 5 raised to power b minus square root of 15 is equal to 0 here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is 5 raised to power b plus square root of 15 will be 0 or the second equation is 5 raised to power b minus square root of 15 is equal to 0. Now here we will solve these two equations for the value of b. So here first we will solve this one equation. So here we will move this positive square root of 15 to the right hand side. So this will become 
for us to power b is equal to this will become negative square root of 15. Now look at to both sides of this equation here for any value of b this left hand side for us to power b is always positive so this gives him a positive value always and here negative square root of 15 is a negative value so in means it is not possible that a positive value be equal to a negative value so that's why this equation is not possible so this is a false equation so here we will reject to solve this equation we will solve only this one equation so here we will move this square root of 15 to the right hand side so it will become positive and this will become 5 raised to power b is equal to positive square root of 15 then here we will take common log on both sides so let us take common log on both sides this will become log of 5 raised to power b is equal to log of square root of 15 now here in the left hand side you will use logarithm identity log of a raised to power x which is equal to x times log of a so this will become b times log of 5 is equal to log of square root of 15 now we will divide both sides by this one number log of 5 so this will become log of 5 also divide this side by log of 5 so here on the left hand side this log of 5 and this log of 5 will be cancelled so only b will be left hand in the left hand side and here in the right hand side we will use change of base logarithm identity so here in the right hand side we will use this one change of base logarithm identity we can write log of a divided by log of b in short form as log of a with base b so using this change of base logarithm identity here this right hand side will become log of square root of 15 with base 5 so finally a, b is equal to log of square root of 15 with base 5 is our answer and value of b in this interesting exponential math problem now here we will try to verify the value of b that as the value of b is exact correct in this problem or not so we will verify this value here now let's verify this value of b b is equal to log of square root of 15 with base 5 now to verify this value here we will rewrite our problem again no our problem is this one so let us rewrite this problem here so this will become 4 raised to power b times 4 raised to power b times 4 raised to power b divided by here we will add this number three times so 4 raised to power b plus 4 raised to power b plus 4 raised to power b is equal to 5. so here first we will simplify this left hand side and then we will substitute the value of b so let's simplify this left hand side so the numerator will become here the base is same so we'll add the power so this will become 5 raised to power we will add b three times so this will become 5 raised to power 3b and here in the denominator this same number 5 raised to power b is added three times so this will become three times this one number 5 raised to power b is equal to 5. now we'll multiply both sides by 3 to eliminate 3 from the denominator so this will become here this 3 and this 3 will be cancelled and we will move this number to the numerator so this will become 5 raised to power minus b so this numerator will become implies this will become 5 raised to power 3b times this will become 5 raised to power negative b is equal to 5 times 3 is 15 so this is 5 raised to power as the base is same so we'll add the power so this will become 3b minus b now 3b minus b gives him 2b is equal to 15 now here we will substitute the value of b so the value of b is b is equal to log of square root of 15 with base 5 so this equation will become implies this will become 5 raised to power 2 times the value of b is log of square root of 15 with base 5 is equal to 15 now here in the left hand side we will use a logarithm result so here we will use this one result in the left hand side we can write a raised to power log of b with base x as b raised to power log of a with base x so using this logarithm result here we will interchange the position of this number and square root of 15 so this left hand side will become implies this will become 
the root of 15 raised to the power 2 times log of 5 with this 5 is equal to 15. Now here we know that log of any number with the same base is always equal to 1. So here this number log of 5 with base 5 is equal to 1. So we will replace this number with 1. So this will become square root of 15 raised to the power 2 times this is 1 is equal to 15. So next this will become square root of 15 raised to the power 2 times 1 is simply 2 is equal to 15. Now as we know that square and square root are the reciprocal of each other. So here square and square will cancel each other. So only 15 will be left here and the left hand side. So this will become 15 is equal to 15. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that b is equal to log of square root of 15 with s5 is the exact and correct value of b in this nice and interesting exponential math problem.